and welcome back. Today I'm looking at Word 2016 and we'll look at the referencing options. There's a few changes there. Now a lot of people don't use the referencing tab. If I click up to the top of the ribbon here, because you are limited to what reference styles you can use from psychology to Chicago history and Harvard. Now the Harvard referencing doesn't seem to be the standard which normally gives you brackets around a year and extra comma. Now there's a variation of Harvard so always check you're using the correct one. Now on my website there's a little link to Dropbox where you can download a different Harvard reference install. I'm going to show you how to install that into your Word now for you. So once you've downloaded it, I want you to go to the bottom left hand corner and do a right click and select left click search. And we need to type in there to get to the directory so select percentage, app data and the percentage sign again and click enter and that will take us to the file folder. Now I want you to select Microsoft and I want to go up to it says bibliography. Now this is where all your styles are. Now we've got Harvard Angular. Now I want you to right click once you've copied or drag that style into this folder. So I'm going to do a right click and select paste and I've now dragged that in. And I'll show you the differences between a Harvard Angular and this new one I've put in there for you in a minute. So close that window. Now it won't show up if I click here because I had Word already open. You can see I've only got Angular. So I'm going to close Word and reopen it. It should now be in there. So I'm going to go to References tab. Using this little section here, drop down menu, I now have the Harvard UWE. Now there's a new option here called Research I'm going to show you as well. But first let me show you the basic options here. So first thing to do is insert a new source. So I'll click Add New Source and choose the type of source you need to use. Make sure you use the correct source if I scroll down. It could be a performance and then it changes the fields. Now as you can see here, there is no fields for performance, but if you select show or bibliography fields, then you can select what is required for that. As I drag it up and down. So really important you use that. Now if I scroll up, it will give you default options, for example, book that you need to fill in from title or year to publisher. Book section, you can see it adds couple more options there for example pages and book title so make sure you difference between book section and book being book section with multiple authors and also one that's quite commonly used is websites and again you put your year month and day assessed now if you look at the bottom it tells you what format to put stuff in so always have a look at that also another common one is journal articles which you can use there as well now if you find your reference style varies from the standard Harvard, you can always click again show bibliography fields and then add what you require. Because you can see here it's only showing you what you need with stars recommended fields so you can add what you require if needed. But that should be the standard but I'm going to do a book. So I'm going to make a... I'm going to cite my own book for example. I haven't got one but we'll use this as an example. So first thing it's asking me is the author. Now always click to the right edit to make you put the name in the correct order and select first name. You can add a middle name if you're happy with that click add. Again add multiple names if you can here and keep adding if need be click OK. So the author's done. I'm going to jump to title so I'm going to make up a title. The book click tab to go down. Sit at the bottom I need to put in a year so let's just say 2009 I'm going to tab down again and City London Publisher Pearson and again we come to Editor click the Edit button to put the name in the correct order I should put it down as the same and Simon and again click Add and OK last of all Edition so again at the bottom it's giving me what format so I'll put third edition as an example. All done, happy with that, click OK. It creates my in-text citation. So I could have my quote here on the left and my in-text citation here. Now if it's a direct quote being a book you need to add the page number. So left click on it once, select the drop down arrow and left click citation. You can also re-edit the source by bringing it up if need be. Also you can convert citation to a static text which means if I click on it as you can see I can no longer edit it if you need to do that but I'm going to click undo click the drop down menu and any changes you make for example edit source you can update citations and bibliography to show that but I'm going to click edit citation and add a page number in 65 will do you can suppress the author in a citation year if you want click OK and there we go I've got my in-text citation 
So you carry on doing all your in-text citations from websites and various books, journals. When you've finished, you need your bibliography. Using that little section again, select bibliography and select references. And then it creates your reference for you. Now that's the one I've actually installed a second ago. Now I'm going to change that by coming up to the reference style to Chicago, APA, and the original Harvard Angular. So have a little play with that, see if you can find the correct reference style you want. If you can't find the reference style you want, if you go to this website, let me open up Google, and it's Bibworld, you can have a look here for different reference styles, this will help you out as well, and you can download different reference styles and see if you can find the one that helps you. So that's Bibwell style, so you can click the download button. But let me go back to my Word. So any sources you add in here would automatically be added to Manage Sources. So if I left click Manage Sources, you'll have all your sources here. And if you don't want any of them, you can click the Delete button and get rid of what you don't want, which I'm just going to do quickly, tidy that up a bit. Also, you can search for sources. For example, I did Smith, and it will bring it up for you. You can sort by author, tag, title, and even year if need be. You also click on a source here and you can see underneath we can then edit it with the edit button if you need to add stuff there as well. Now the whole point of this is, let me show you if I close this and get rid of all this. Say you come back, you want to use the same source again. So you've got your quote, you come back up to the top and click manage sources. Select the ones you want to use, so you can actually pre-put these in and use them as your site and your work. Copy over what you want. See they're in my current list. Or you might decide actually I don't want that in my current list, so I'm going to delete it out of my current list. Doesn't delete it from your master list, remember. So now I can cite my work by coming to insert citation, it'll be listed here. Click on the one I want, and I've got it there. And when I finish my work, again I can go to bibliography and create my reference styles. Now there's a new option there I'm going to have a quick look at as well. It's called Researcher. So if I left click Researcher, it brings up this new window here. So then we can do a bit of research, search for a subject. So let me pop something in. Let's pop in stars and click the Enter key. See what we get. So obviously you need to be online for this, and it is powered by Bing at the bottom. So they've got 126 sources there. So I'm going to click on the first option. Now if I hover we've got Add Heading. So I could add a heading for that. I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to do a left click and then it brings up multiple sources from journals to articles and so on. So I might go, actually that looks quite interesting. So I've got an option here where I can add citation. But I'm going to click journal article. It says here it looks like the source has moved. Search for further data. So I'm going to click in browser. And then I can find the date I'm looking for online as well if need be, including the article, depending on what you're looking for. So it's a helpful way to do your research, but I'm going to close that, and I'm going to click the arrow and come back. So I'm going to do some research on star, so what I'm going to do is click the first button, I'm going to add a heading. So this gives me a heading on research, so you can build your paper with this. I've got an overview here, so I'm going to select read more, and go down, we've got observation history, designations, and so on. So I'm going to go to the first option, I'm going to highlight some text. Oh my God, actually, I want to use that, that's quite good. Now, when you highlight it, can you see what drops down automatically to the right? Add, add and cite. So, I might go add and cite. So, that way it gives me the information and the citation. Now, I'm going to scroll down a bit more. And I'll go to designations again. I can use a header, separate header for that. Again, I'm going to highlight some text there. I say, I want that as well. And I'm going to click add and cite. So, you can gather information quickly as you're going along. Now I'm going to close this window a second, come back to what we've done. Now if I come up to Manage Sources, those sources should now be added. So now if I click the Enter key and select Bibliography and References, I then have them listed here. So what I'm going to do is come back up to Insert Citation, because I've got the two from before, haven't I? Which I no longer want. So go back to Manage Sources select the ones I don't want, so I'm going to get rid of them out of my current list and click close. So I should be able to click Bibliography, References and then it creates the reference for me where it comes from. Now I check this because the reference style is not always perfect but it's still good for a bit of research to get basically where your sources are come from. So if I hold the left button, control and click 
it will bring up that website for me star and I can close it not though you'd really reference from Wikipedia but just an example so go back to researcher that's quite a powerful option now you can see on the right here it's like a comment we've got your links here so if I click explore star it brings it back up for me there as well I can also get rid of these by going to review and get rid of show comments if you don't want them in fact if you don't want the comments at all we can click on them and just click delete and get rid of them if you don't want them there any longer either so I'm getting rid of that reference at the end and click back up I'm going to type something else in so we've got something here on the right here how about cause of global warming again it's going to do a search online for us I'm going to scroll down look for some information there we go effects on global warming on marine mammals and I've got an option here so I can create another header first that I'm working off and then left click it and it gives us more information so we've got nine sources we have journals two websites three and books four so there's my journals I can scroll down to my books and websites so I'm going to select a book now I can add citation for the book but I need to locate that book as well so if I locate the book on WorldCat which is one of the biggest resource information and I can find the book I'm looking for, open it up and then use to cite it if need be or I could use locate the book on Bing if need be as well handy links again we've got the website here so again I could add the citation but I'm going to click on the link first see what's in there and then again I could choose the information I want if need be click add or just add and cite as well so I've got all my information there and then I can carry on adding headers where I need them just to let you know when you do add these citations and references if we go back to reference tab and manage sources they're automatically added in here for you as well there we go pollution loss so they automatically put them in there and store them for you so a really powerful option and again if you don't want them you can always delete them and close I'm going to close the researcher and delete all this text and the last thing I'm going to show you is the option if you're using footnotes for humanities or maybe using a law reference so again if you're doing footnoting you're typing the information that you need and we don't have in-text citations do we we just click insert footnote and off you go then you add your reference style there you can still use the option here look if I go to manage sources and I could choose what I want so I might copy that reference over and get rid of the pollution one by clicking delete and getting rid of star now I'm going to click close so now I've got it in the list I can just do bibliography insert bibliography click backspace and there you go so I hope that helps on referencing and how to use the basics thanks for watching